Hi everyone, Mike White here. Welcome to this week's vlog post. Uh, another crazy week, uh, another great deal of, uh, you know, misunderstanding, confusion, volatility, call it whatever it is that you want. The markets are really struggling to find its place when quite frankly, everyone that seems to be in a position of power or in control of things that are going on seem to just to be wrong all the time. Um, once again, you know, the markets themselves try to correct themselves. They try to do what they need to do to balance everything that's going on. And the federal government can put its thumb on the scale. And as everyone knows, when you're dealing in the financial markets, the Federal Reserve, right, wrong, or indifferent, has huge control to impact the market, but very little control once it overplays its hand and things get away from it and start you know, going awry. And it's at that point, people in the marketplace are looking for those in power, those who are our leaders, to have a plan, to lay out what's going on, to tell the truth, and to help navigate where we're going. Now, that is an issue, certainly now. We've been talking here for well over a year um, about inflation. Uh, we've, we've dealt with the warning signs um, about a hyperactive uh, you know, <clears throat> marketplace, the, the flooding of the market with trillions of dollars um, you know, it's, it's been really incredible. And just the other day, we had the former Fed chair and now Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, someone who should know a few things about the economy and markets, someone who should absolutely have their mind around fundamental uh, economics, comes out and says, you know, in an interview that she absolutely positively was wrong about inflation, all her touting uh, up until very recently about how all this inflation was transitory and wasn't anything to worry about, and even went out so far to support additional trillions of dollars of government spending, saying that it was the way to help the inflationary pressures was to, for the government to print and spend trillions more dollars. And, and, and again, that whole transitory nonsense that tried to get sold, the markets were, you know, convinced were was not true, um, and she kept beating the drum long after uh, just about everybody had given up on on that claim. And when the current Fed chair Jerome Powell was, you know, finally came around to realizing six months or so after he made the claim of inflationary inflation being transitory um you know the fed finally gave up using the word transitory when it had to come to grips they didn't want to admit that they were wrong but they just decided they weren't going to use the word transitory anymore and again he was the author of the whole inflation being transitory myth he he you know he painted himself into a corner realized he couldn't get out of it and even then waited way too long months and months and months and months to start raising interest rates to help curb inflationary pressures. And, and you know what? It, it just makes you wonder that these people should have known better. They should have acted sooner, and, and they didn't. And it gets no better with housing information. There are those out there now, let's be honest, who profit. Those in the mainstream media, those on the internet, social media sites, who make these outrageous claims about the housing markets or interest rates or state things that are just factually incorrect. And we could go on and on here about all the misinformation that's out there, but I've talked about in the past is go out and document your own information when you hear these crazy claims and understand that a large majority of the people who are out there, the so-called professional pundits that are out there are out there to generate clicks. They're out there to monetize news and information and let's be honest it's you know bad news sells it always has and they're looking to capitalize in in some way 
And sometimes they do it by framing information, you know, unfairly, if not out and out, just lying. So it's, it's important that, that you pay attention to getting the information and then really drilling down on something that we've talked about here, which is you've got to immerse yourself into your local markets. They're all different. They may be similar in some places than others, but all the local markets are, you know, have some form of uniqueness to them that it's really important that you get on top of. And, and that's what people are really looking forward to now. They're looking for professionals that understand the local economy, the local market, the, the ebb and flow of what's going on, both on the real estate and on the mortgage side, because it is very local. What are rents doing in your market? What are housing prices doing in your market? How do, how do rising interest rates impact those? What's the supply and demand looking like? It, it, are, are housing prices starting to moderate? Are people you know, still coming out there and getting multiple offer situations or houses still selling or certain types of houses in certain areas selling more quickly than others? These are the things that you want to be aware of, because as always, you've got to be in a position to help your client navigate these situations. Again, we're seeing in some markets the emergence or the, the power of things like VA loans, the, the fact that or the fully documented pre-approval being accepted as widely as people who are talking about all cash. Um, loan officers and, and, and realtors working together to help promote properties and to engage local areas in helping them find buyers and even new listings. Uh, those things, those face-to-face -face, uh, and belly-to-belly -belly type conversations, as my good friend Steve Harney used to say, uh, are, are coming back in a very big strong and powerful way because people are looking for other people for information that applies not on a national scale. I, I don't want to go on the internet and, and use some internet company telling me what's happening in my backyard. I want somebody local to tell me how that information nationally impacts my local backyard. So again, as always, getting on top of the news, understanding what's going on, how it impacts your local market, and the things that you can do to present solutions to your clients and your referral partners, given all the things that are happening, will set you apart. So again, as always, if you need any help or you have any questions, it's mike at imtcoaching.com. We'll talk to you again next week. Take care.